Hubbard, FBI. What I propose is that you let these people go, and I'll take their place. I'm going to take your silence to mean that you're considering my offer. Oh. Oh, God. Belfast, Beirut, not the first city to have to deal with terrorism. This is New York City. We can take it. You don't understand. These guys are pros. From the age of 12, they've been dodging people like you. The situation is appalling. They're attacking our way of life. The president wants to stop, and there's only one way to do that. He's saying the president is prepared to take the necessary steps. Powers Act by the President. I am declaring a state of martial law in this city. We intend to seal off this borough and we intend to squeeze it. Do you have any idea what you're starting here? Wrong! What if what they really want is for us to hurt children in the stadium like we're doing? And put soldiers on the street and have Americans looking over their shoulders? Bend the law, shred the Constitution just a little bit. We do that, and everything that we have played and fought and died for is over. Don't you ever again question my command. Is that clear? I'm not under your command, General. Take a look around. Tell me if you really think that's true. was to do a, a story that was a kind of culmination of five years of the show and to, uh, to try to make an event of it, uh, which became the movie. I, I said I'd never show an alien or a spaceship before the, uh, the fifth season of the show. That is an important um, piece of the mythology that we're going to play with now. And as we come back in season six of the show, you're going to see why that alien was the way he was and is uh, and why he is a sort of ferocious, fierce uh, creature. So much for little green man. There was a uh, scene written for the, the movie, and it had to do with Muller's sister, who was, he believes, abducted when she was eight years old. There was an answer given to that, a bigger and more uh, complete answer than we'd ever gotten before. Why are you telling me this? For the sake of my own children, once it's learned what I've told you, my life will be over. We realized it was just too much information. And so we cut it out. By putting it back into the, uh, the movie, though, I think we're adding something back in that plays to the original spirit and intent of uh, that scene, which was to give a, a big answer to a big question. We wanted to uh, do something that was both frightening and big enough to justify its uh, inclusion in the movie as a, as a big event. I'm kind of scared of bees myself, so just being in the, uh, the bee domes was a big deal for me. I put on a protective outfit, and I uh, was in there during the filming, which was, um, in, in the end, really exhilarating because David and Jillian weren't in these uh, these get-ups, so we got to watch them really performing a pretty amazing stunt uh, with live bees, thousands of live bees, and uh, my hat's off to David and Jillian for pulling it off because the work that they do is just uh, unbelievably hard. There's so many challenges in, in an action-adventure film that involves so many um, special effects. You know, pretending to be in Tunisia, or pretending to be in the Antarctic, surrounded by green walls and, and um, certainly snow beneath us, but everything else that you see beyond us in the landscape and the mountains and everything is all special effects and CGI and computer everything, and, and it's, it's remarkable. There was actually one scene at the end where we have to, um, we're relying on the ice and the snow and it's real ice that we've got our faces pressed against for some time while they're trying to get the shot. It was sad, uh, it was very cold. I have to say the most uncomfortable scenes to shoot were in the cornfield. I had to run very close behind David. So all of the, the, the corn that he goes through ends up like whacking me in the face. We did a lot of stuff attached to wires. We had to get a shot of us sliding down the face of, of 
the exterior of the spaceship and we slide forward full speed ahead and drop and at some point the, the wire goes taut and it catches us before we fall off the edge. I, I actually wanted to keep going. It excites me rather than terrifies me. I have to say that, that shooting the, the hallway scene was probably one of my favorites. It was such a momentous moment in the history of these characters. And um, I think I, I enjoyed I enjoyed that aspect of it a great deal. The movie uh, is pivotal to uh, understanding the, the series as you go on. Along the way, we will cover a lot of the ground and explain a lot of things that the movie may not have explained perfectly, but that's part of the, the fun of the X-Files, unanswered questions, uh, questions that are answered and the, uh, the answers are taken away. We're, we're big Indian givers on this uh, TV series. Uh, we often say things and then uh, learn that they're lies later on because we're dealing with so many treacherous characters. And I guess I'm a sort of treacherous character in that way, too, and I'm uh, constantly uh, pulling the rug out from underneath the, uh, the viewer. So the movie is important to the series, uh, all important. You will uh, gain not only a bigger appreciation for the series as it goes forward, but uh, the series as you look back.